and happy Saturday. I hope everyone's day is off to an amazing start. Thanks so much for stopping in today, guys, and happy Saturday after Thanksgiving. I hope you guys had an amazing Thanksgiving with your friends and family if you chose to do so. I hope those of you who went out shopping on Black Friday picked up all those wonderful items that you were looking for. I want to send a huge thank you out to everyone who shopped with the Unfrumpy Mommy store on Thanksgiving or Black Friday, I should say. You guys are so, so wonderful. Cannot thank you guys enough for shopping with me over uh, at the store on Black Friday. But today we are stopping in because it's the most wonderful time of the year. It's time for us to start thinking about those people in our lives who we want to, you know, get little gifts for and gifts that we don't necessarily want to break the bank on. So I'm here with my list of 10 Amazon must-haves if you are looking to get some really unique pieces for those individuals in your lives but like I said you don't want to spend a whole lot of money so I have a list of 10 however I cannot start without mentioning these these babies right here I picked these up on Amazon these are an honorable mention okay I'm just throwing these in here at the last minute because I'd be remiss if I didn't okay these the, the the eyeglass wearer in your life or just the stylish lens stylish lens wearer in your life guys they are going to love these and the price point is just amazing i love these oh my gosh i just love these so much and so what makes these so special is that they are just ridiculously oversized and i love an oversized lens but um or frame but also guys you can purchase these and have your prescription put in these so those are these are amazing so i could not start without throwing these in i don't know why i didn't have these on the original list but as always, all the links will be listed below. All right, so moving on. For the lady in your life, whether it be your daughter, your mom, your grandmother, your sister, your aunt, yourself, robes. Robes have become my new obsession. Guys, on Amazon, these kimono-inspired Asian Oriental inspired robes. I want to say there are about maybe 12 different colors. It's this colors. It's the same print, but again, I want to say there are like 12 different colors. I have about five of them now and I love them. They're so cool, so smooth to the touch. Of course, they come with the little coordinating sash and pockets. What I love though about these robes is that they, they're multifunctional, all right? You can of course wear it around the house and look amazing. You're going to the door answering the UPS guy, the FedEx guy, the mailman, they're there dropping off your packages and you get to go and answer the door looking your chic self. Also, I had the opportunity of wearing one of my newest robes out just as a kimono. I put a simple tee underneath, put a pair of jeans on, threw this on, and it was a look. So if you have anyone who is like myself and they are just crazy about robes or if you yourself needs a new robe, these right here are just the most stylish. And again, you can just wear them, style them so many different right ways. So a robe is number one. And so what would a robe be? What would a robe be without some really cozy, fuzzy slippers? To me, a robe and slippers, it's like peanut butter and jelly, biscuits and syrup, grits and butter, avocado and toast, they, they go together, it's a thing. So if you're gonna get the robe for that special person in your life or yourself, get the slippers. I love these slippers. I have seen these particular slippers everywhere. However, not at this price point, okay? If you get the robe, which is also at a great, great uh, price point, do not neglect to buy the slippers. It's a nice little bundle. Of course, I have mine here in gray, but there are just so many colors that these particular slippers come in. I have seen them on Nordstrom. I have seen them on the Bloomingdale's website, but no one comes to this really great price that Amazon has. So do yourself a favor, get the robe, 
get the slippers. And while you're at it, guys, what would these items be without the foot massager, guys? This foot massager has been giving me my life. Oh my gosh. Prior to everything going on with the pandemic, there's a little spot of the place from up the place. There's a little spot up the street for me. I want to say it's treat your feet buckhead. Just the most amazing foot massages. If you guys have ever been to treat your foot, treat your feet buckhead, drop down in the comments. Let me know how well your experience was. How, how did you enjoy your experience for me? hands down the best foot massages in Atlanta. All right, well, I'm not really going there as of late. And so this foot massager has really done a great job in helping to still give me that experience without leaving, um, leaving my house. Again, everything will be listed below in the description box, but these three items together, you are going to be the hit at Christmas for whatever young lady you give these items to, you cannot go wrong. A hit. Do you guys remember this? <laughs> this is Bop It. This Bop It, guys, <laughs> has gotten us through many a boring day. I'm going to sleep. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> many a boring day and many a boring night here at the house. If you have been following, following along here on the channel for a while, you will have seen me thrash annihilate Eric on the bop it. You know what? Let me go ahead and include the clip of it here. Hold the line, please. <laughs> Let me go and step up to the plate and do this. Uh -huh. oh, Look who Zer. <clears throat> Let's go. 100! I cannot believe it! Don't speak. I don't say a word even though you were talking to me. You because you talked several times during mine. But you see yours and you have any effect on it. an immature little something that you get the kids and yes this is something great for the kids but this is also something that is going to get you your spouse and the entire family through the holidays after a few days together doing nothing you know everybody's off work you know during the Christmas holidays something like bop it is going to really break up the monotony of the day yes your regular video games those are amazing too but this right here, guys, I like to say that you really need some skills to kind of master bop it. I have those skills as you guys saw in the previous clip. So again, head over to Amazon, pick up your bop it. All right, we cannot forget the man in your life. Gone are the days where we are buying our husbands, our dads, the Christmas ties. They don't want it anymore, guys. And who's still wearing ties to work? Please let me know if you have a job or if your spouse has a job where they are 
they are required to wear a tie to work. I haven't really seen that in the past years. I think now most people have casual days at work, but I could be wrong. Let me know. But anyway, a shop vac. A shop vac is a perfect gift for that man in your life. If your husband is anything like mine, he loves washing his own vehicle. Rarely ever does Eric take our car and get it washed at some car wash place. He likes to detail and really get in there and uh, just get really hands on about uh, washing our cars. That's just something he has always loved. So he uses the shop vac to vacuum up the little dirt and grass shards or whatever that are in the cars. And what we used this particular shop vac for maybe a few months back was we had a little water spill over by our hot wet water heater. We went down and there was a pooling of water. Well, this particular shop vac is a wet dry vac. And so he was able to use the vacuum and get it up and not worry about having to be electrocuted. So it's great. You can use it dry again and you can use it wet. So if you have a handy guy, go ahead, pick up this shop vac for him. It'll be something he did not expect. You, you'll get brownie points because he won't believe you even thought to step outside of the realm of purchasing ties and get him a shop vac. So the link will be below. So while we are purchasing the men in our lives vacuums, shop vacs why not purchase the women in your life a vacuum as well so a few days back i put a little video clip on instagram I think it had something to do with Black Friday. My girl Kimmy Cat 9, yes, Kimmy Cat 9 saw the video and I had a reference or a little blip in there showing my Roomba, my robot vacuum cleaner, and she wanted to know would it be a good idea to get one? She has a regular vacuum cleaner, however, her husband, you know, the noise, those other vacuum cleaners, they're loud. So she was trying to decide whether or not she would go or should go with the robot vacuum cleaner. I said, yes, I am loving mine. You'll love it too, all right? If you don't have one, this is a great time to go ahead and make a really good purchase for yourself during the Christmas holidays. Or let's say you have a mom and you know, she's a little bit older. She, you know, she's not able to push that vacuum cleaner cleaner around as much as she uh, used to or would like to. You know, those vacuum cleaners can be a bit heavy. I am absolutely loving my robot vacuum cleaner. I will say that I still Swiffer in between my robot vacuum cleaning visits. <laughs> I love this thing, guys. I did not know for the longest that it would do its job and then get back on the charger itself. I thought for the longest that Eric was putting it back on the charger. It was getting back on the charger itself when it finished doing its job. So if you are on the fence about purchasing a robot vacuum cleaner for yourself or purchasing a robot vacuum cleaner for someone you love, I am here to tell you, this will be the purchase that you will not regret. And so while we are talking about cleaning things, guys, get a load of these gold plated cooking spoons and fork cooking utensils. I love these so much. I love these so much. I don't even know how I came across these on Amazon. I think I was needing to replace my knives. And you know, sometimes when you're just perusing Amazon, different suggestions will pop up. And lo and behold, I'm scrolling down and these gorgeous gold plated cooking spoons and forks and ladles popped up and I had to have them. They are just that little 
zing or pop that I did not know I needed in my kitchen, but I'm so happy that I have them now. If you are like me and you have a kitchen that is mostly silver or chrome, no fears. The gold and the silvers or chrome together, the mixed metals work perfectly, all right? I just love the look of it. You know, we mix metals now with our jewelry. Why not do it in our kitchen, all right? So I absolutely love these. Yes, you can actually use them. I have cooked with them. I have put them in the dishwasher. They are just an extension of the utensils that I already have. And you can never have too many utensils in your kitchen, especially during the holidays, all right? So again, the link for them will be below in the description box. All right, and so while we're talking about metals and mixed metals, let's move to this gorgeous little initial necklace here. I have it on in just a really pretty toned down silver and I love it. You guys know that you can get these initial necklaces in some places just price ridiculous. Just, I'm not doing it, okay? So I love, love this one here from Amazon. Of course, it has the T on it. Have it here in silver, like I said. And guys, I even, because the price was right, picked it up in the gold, all right? So these, again, just the perfect little stocking stuffers for that young lady in your life, your mom, again, your aunt, your sister. I just love these. And the gold is just as pretty as the silver. So something really simple, really easy to give. It's, it's a no brainer and I think they'll appreciate it. I've had mine for, I know a little bit over a year now and they are holding up perfectly. Oh wow, we are really moving through this list, guys. Do you guys remember when I came to you, what, maybe a few summers ago, and I shared these jeans from Amazon? Super stretchy, really tight, really figure-hugging, and they just enhance every curve on your body. If you're a curve, if you are a curvy girl, you are going to appreciate these jeans. If you know a curvy girl, she is going to appreciate these jeans and the price is amazing. I purchased so many of these guys that I have some over in my closet that still have the tags on them, okay? I love them that much. I love the fact that they are, you see here, the waist looks really small, but guys, these jeans have some mega, mega stretch. So everybody's doing the combat boot thing right now. These will slip right down in the combat boots, no problem at all. You know, we love wearing our leggings during the colder months. I guess it'll get cold at some point. I think yesterday, guys, it was like 70 something degrees in Atlanta, ridiculous. I'm not complaining, but I don't know, it's some wonky stuff going on with the weather these days, but anyway, the links for these jeans will be below. Jeans, a t-shirt, a blazer. You gotta look, all right? Love these. Guys, we are on the last item, or should I say items. You guys remember a few weeks back, I came to you and I shared these little facial sprays from Mario Badescu. They came in a kit, the kit was 20 bucks, and I said, these would make really good stocking stuffers. You have four women in your life, Go ahead, drop one of these in each of the four stockings. I love these, all right? I used these when I applied my makeup today. Today I used the aloe, cucumber, and green tea. I wet down my face just a little bit before applying my makeup and they are just so, so fresh. Any lady in your life would absolutely love to have one of these. Just a little addition. During the summer, I know we're about to go into a whole new season right now, but these are great during the summer too to kind of refresh in after a long hot day out. So yeah, that is everything guys. That is everything. Do drop down, leave a comment. Let me know your favorite of the 10 or 11 if you include the 
glasses here. I think the glasses are my favorite. I absolutely love these. Whenever I have these on, I wear these out, I get so many questions about where they're from. Are they prescription? All right, so these are my favorites. Let me know your favorite below. What's up YouTube family? Hopefully you're feeling blessed and not stressed. It is the Monday before Thanksgiving. I'm so happy to be bringing you a pink package shout out. Let's get into it. I'm feeling good today. I finally got my wife to give me a fresh haircut. If you follow us on Instagram, you know the saga behind that. So I'm gonna try to not look as scruffy, although I need to shave. I, I, I'm gonna try to look less scruffy. I'm gonna get more haircuts. I'm gonna shave and do better. Um, also, this is the Monday. So by the time, this is the Monday before Thanksgiving. This is going to go up the Saturday after Thanksgiving or the Sunday after Thanksgiving. As of now, our Thanksgiving plans are we are going to go ahead and socially distance. Um, it's just going to be the three of us, me, my wife and Chase. I think this is going to be the first Thanksgiving ever, literally, where we haven't gotten together with family. Normally, that's what we would do. We're trying to be a little bit more conservative this year just because everything that's going on. We had a lot of debate, but we just decided let's just, you know. We're just gonna socially distant. Let me know what you guys are doing. If you're if you're cooking, what you're doing, if you're hanging out with family, let me know. Let's get into these shout outs. The first one is to Michelle L out of Charlotte, first order. Welcome to the family, Michelle. A Lux shirt. Thank you so much, Michelle L out of Charlotte. Alice M, Lancaster, Texas. Welcome to the family, Alice. This is your first order. You ordered two Lux shirts. Welcome to the family. Our next one is Audrey M out of Florissant, Missouri. Welcome to the family, Audrey. This is your first order. You ordered a Lux shirt. Um, Florissant, Missouri. I've, I've been to St. Louis. I've never been to Florissant. I know about Florissant though from watching Sweetie Pies. I, I remember they either had a restaurant in Florissant or were opening one. Uh, so that's how I know Florissant from Sweetie Pies. It's a shame too what's going on with that family. Let me know in the comments if you're keeping up with that whole saga with Tim and his cousin and what's going on there um manual t bowie maryland uh second order mac and cheese city manual thank you so much for your second order let me know if you're going to enjoy some great mac and cheese up, up there in bowie sophia c uh a lux hoodie out of philly this is your second order out of philly um thank you so much sophia for your second order Demita C out of Biloxi, Mississippi. Been to Biloxi a few times. Great place to have fun, gamble a little bit. Although I'm not a big gambler. Um, when I go to towns like Biloxi or um, Vegas, I'm not a huge gambler. I like to do some of the other stuff. So let me know in the comments if you go to places like that. Are you somebody that does slots or blackjack or do you just kind of do some of the other activities? Um, Demita C ordered uh, a Diana Ross and a Lux. Thank you so much, Demita. This is... Latrice B out of Moreno Valley, California, a black marriages matter. Uh, thank you so much, Latrice. Hopefully you and your significant other will enjoy the black marriages matter, which if you're not familiar with those, um, those are shirts for couples. There's a man and a woman's version of the shirts. We've got a few of them. Um, so hopefully you're enjoying that with your significant other. Very good idea for a Christmas gift too. Something a little bit different. Also let me know since we're talking about Christmas gifts, um, like I said, today is Monday before Thanksgiving. By the, by the time this goes up, um, this will be Sunday after Thanksgiving. So we will have gone through Black Friday and Cyber Monday will be tomorrow. Let me know if you did Black Friday. We're going to have some great Black Friday specials and Cyber Monday all through that whole weekend. Are you a big Black Friday shopper? If so, do you go to the malls or do you like to do online? I personally like to do online. I used to be one of the ones to kind of get up and catch deals. I haven't done that in years. My wife, too. Uh, but let me know in the comments if you're enjoying or participating in Black Friday. And again, check out the Unfrumpy Mommy store. We're going to have some great deals. Uh, Johnny R. 
first order palestine texas a luxe shirt thank you so much johnny although this feels like that name sounds familiar i feel like this is more than your first order remember the order number goes by your email now you don't have to put your email in our system when you place an order to order but two things will happen if you don't one we won't at least on the shout outs i won't be able to keep track of, of your number of orders i can keep track of it another way but i can't do it in the shout outs also again you don't have to put your email but if you don't you won't get the uh, automated notification that your order is shipped with the tracking number and all that stuff. So if you want to get all those automated notifications that your order is shipped and, and the tracking number and all that stuff, uh, put your email. We're not going to use your email for anything other than tracking unless you sign up for the newsletter, which you should because you get, you know, the newsletter always has great discounts. So, uh, but other than that, we're going to keep your information very private. Christine K, Stone Mountain, Georgia. All right. We used to live in Stone Mountain. Our first house was in Stone Mountain. I grew up not too far from Stone Mountain. Um, so thank you so much, Christine K. Home Team. Um, Mariah Carey versus Eartha Kitt hoodie um, and a Lux hoodie. Uh, we love Stone Mountain. Love the beautiful area. We still go out there probably two or three times a month, mainly to exercise. When Chase was a baby and a toddler, we would go out there and like, especially around this time of year, Christmas they do like a Christmas village and there's a Christmas train. It's really pretty. We would do that. Haven't done that in a while, but I still enjoy going there and working out. For those of you that are local, let me know in the comments. Do you do the Stone Mountain thing? If so, do you go up the mountain? Uh, that is one of our main workouts. We'll do that maybe once every couple of months. You can actually walk up the back of Stone Mountain. It is a pretty intense workout. I would say you got to be in pretty decent shape. You don't have to be a mountain climber or in, in marathon shape, but you got to be in decent shape to be able to walk up the mountain and you go up the backside. Let me know in the comments if you live in Atlanta and, you, and you've done that or maybe you're a tourist and you've come here and done that or gone to Stone Mountain. And uh, I think this is just the start of orders for this week. You got a bunch more coming. So I will see you on the next Pink Packet shout out. What's up, YouTube family? Hopefully you're feeling blessed and not stressed. I'm here for another Pink Packet shout out on this Tuesday before Thanksgiving. Our first shout out, Ernestine J. Ernestine J out of Auburn, Alabama. Shout out to you, Ernestine. This is your first order. Welcome to the family. Shout out to Auburn, too. Auburn, Alabama, of course, the home of Auburn University. Big football rivalry, rivalry here in the South between Auburn and Alabama. Of course, I'm Clemson all day. Alabama's obviously a huge powerhouse. They usually beat Auburn. But, you know, here lately, Clemson's been doing their thing. Shout out to you, Ernestine. You ordered the Diana Ross Retro. Um, quick poll with you guys. You know, I like to have these conversations. What do you guys think, as I look at the Diana Ross, that Ernestine order is the best era of black music? I've been reading a lot lately, a lot of criticism about the current state of hip hop, mumble rap, as it were. For me personally, I think as far as black music and the different genres, the two best decades for, for just R&B in general and black music in general is the 70s, right? Just for R&B and black music in general, because that's when you really had funk and soul and your Isley Brothers and your Curtis Mayfields and your Earth, Wind and Fires, you know, came on the scene and all that. The 80s was cool. I like the 80s. Don't get me wrong. 80s was all right. You had the introduction of really hip hop, you know, your new additions, you're ready for the world, all that stuff. As far as the next level of hip hop, I think hip hop hit its plateau in the 90s when you had your bad boys and your death rows and your dungeon families and your, you know, all of those different you know, genres of hip hop that came out. Um, so for me, it's the seventies in general for just like R and B, um, and the nineties for hip hop, probably more late nineties. Let me know what you guys think in the comment. And I know some of that is going to be based on when you were born. Um, I'm a seventies baby. So, you know, I remember, I remember a lot of the music from the seventies, you know, was in college in the nineties. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Obviously Diana Ross, huge contribution. Thank you so much, Ernestine J for your first order. The next order. Also, let me know before I jump into this, what do you think of the current state of music? Again, a lot of criticism of the current state of quote unquote mumble rap. R&B is kind of dead. If you kind of think about a traditional R&B, like, you know, the Boys to Men's, the Jodeci's, we talked about obviously old school, the Isley Brothers and Earth, Wind and Fires and Cool in the Gangs. You know, traditional R&B, the R&B group is kind of dead, right? Um, so, you know, what do you think of that? You know, you got your Chris Browns, your Beyonce's, your Rihanna's, but they're not, you know, I would say as traditional R&B as you might think of, you got your, my wife here lately has been listening to a lot of Fantasia, a lot of Fantasia. So you got people like that, but you know, it's not near as big as it used to be. Let me know what you think about the current state 
of music in general, the current state of R&B. The next order, Tamara N, two Lux shirts. This is her first order. Welcome, Tamara. And you are out of Memphis, a great home of music. Memphis is, you know, a lot of, you know, Memphis hip hop um, that has come out of Memphis, a lot of good hip hop, a lot of soul, um, Stax Records, um, you know, all those guys that came out of Memphis. What is the name? I'm trying to remember the name. I'm having a brain freeze. Isaac Hayes. What, what am I thinking about? All those guys that came out of Memphis. So Tamara, thank you so much for your first order. Um, two Lux shirts. Next one is from Upper Marlboro, Maryland. We get a lot of orders out of Maryland. LaShawn S. Now this says this is your second order, LaShawn. I think this is more than your second order. You're out of, again, Upper Marlboro, because I remember I remember seeing Upper Marlboro a few times. LaShawn S. Four shirts. Thank you so much for this large order. Um, yeah, you got a Diana Ross. Um, the God Says. Uh, melanin and over it. So thank you so much, LaShawn, for placing your second order out of Maryland. And I will see you guys on the next Pink Package shout out. What's up, YouTube family? Hopefully you're feeling blessed and not stressed. I feel blessed to be able to bring you a pink package shout out here it is the day before thanksgiving it was a beautiful day i don't know i every day you should be thankful and blessed that you woke up i will say <laughs> you know one of the things that i hate is like when you get up in the morning it's a bright sunny day but then later on the day turns ugly that's what happened today let me know in the comments i am big on sunny weather um I wouldn't necessarily say I get seasonal affective disorder. I think that's what it's called. But basically when you get sad, when it's dark out, or when it, you know, the winter and the fall and it gets dark at like five, I think it does impact me a little bit though. Uh, what I will do is I'll try to go to like indoor spaces that are fun, like a mall or a store or something like that. Um, that's why we go to Orlando, you know, a lot this time of year, this time of year. Let me know in the comments if you get sad, if you get seasonal affective disorder, if the dark skies and getting dark at five affects you it is kind of neat you know from a christmas perspective right it is neat when it gets dark and you see all the christmas decorations and the lights that's fun this is definitely cuffing season so this is the season where you want to curl up by the fireplace and watch a good movie but if you're somebody that's really in the outdoors which i am it can be kind of eh. so let me know in the comments um another thing i want to talk about before i get into these pink package shout outs i think in the last video i talked about shopping and, and being a last minute shopper and in the last video, I talked about it from a Christmas perspective. Um, I had to go to uh, the grocery store real quick to get my wife. There's this bougie cheese that she buys and we forgot to get it. So she sent me to the grocery store to get this, this cheese that she wanted. So I didn't have a big list or anything, but I forgot. Well, I didn't forget, but I was like, it's the day before Thanksgiving. And so the grocery store was like packed. Um, let me know if you are a last minute Thanksgiving meal shopper. Um, the grocery store was packed and I drove by Honey Baked Ham on the way here, which is like a local store here that sells like hams for like special events. And there was like a line literally outside, like 50 people in line to go into Honey Baked Ham and get their holiday ham. Let me know in the comments, are you good about getting your stuff beforehand or do you wait to the last minute? I would be scared personally, just because I know stuff runs out. Um, but let me know in the comments what you guys think. Also in terms of shopping, so my wife forgot the cheese. We forgot to get the cheese. She forgot to put that on the list. The other thing she forgot, um, I'm in the Home Goods parking lot. Um, she sent me the Home Goods. She was at Home Goods yesterday or something she wanted to get, but she didn't get it. Um, so now as I go and, and do these, drop these packages off, she's like, oh, can you run into Home Goods and get these items for me? And I'm like, really? First of all, I, I don't, I'm okay with going to Home Goods, but normally I'm with my wife. I'm rarely in there by myself. And I find that when I am in, <laughs> I'm gonna use a term you guys like to use. This is a new term, a new term. Like you have male dominated or men controlled spaces. I feel like Home Goods is a woman controlled space. It's a female space. And I've seen you guys get kind of aggressive. I'm gonna be honest with you ladies. Like going in there by myself, you know, you guys don't like us in there. That's your space, that's your time. I felt uncomfortable. I felt some mean mugs and some stairs. Why is this dude in here in our space shopping? The only other place I felt like that, and maybe this is just my mentality. Maybe I'm imagining stuff and I don't go there anymore because they've kind of fallen off as a store. But back in the day, Victoria's Secret, you know, I tried to do the whole, it's a holiday, it's Valentine's. I'm gonna get some lingerie or something for the wife. And it sounds good on paper, but I always felt weird being in Victoria's Secret, like going through the lingerie. I just felt like, 
I'm getting stares like, who is this creep? Is he really married? Is he really looking through the lingerie? For, for Does he have a wife or is he just wanting to be in here looking through women's lingerie? Let me know in the comments. And, and ladies, maybe you feel uncomfortable. I don't know, how do you feel going into maybe Home Depot or Lowe's? Everything should be equal at this point. You know, women do just as much work around the house as men as far as tools, electronics, going to Best Buy. How do you feel? Let me know. But I feel uncomfortable and oftentimes violated going into these female dominated spaces. Let me know in the comments. Anyway, let's get into these pink packet shout outs. Uh, it's the day before Thanksgiving, so not a lot, but what we make up for, uh, what we lack in quantity, quality, meaning these are some large, large orders. You see the thickness of this envelope. The first one, uh, this is her second order. Thank you so much, Joy W. Joy W out of St. Louis, the Lou. I was just talking about Florissant, Missouri in the last video, the whole saga with Tim and Sweetie Pies. That, that's, a, that's a damn shame. That's just a crying shame. Um, I just got to say this too. My wife and I were talking about this this morning with the, with the Sweetie Pie situation. When you talk about recidivism and people coming out of prison and having a hard time and going back, to me, it's kind of understandable when you come out to nothing, right? If you come out, and I don't know what they do these days, but if you come out and you literally got $50 in your pocket and they give you a bus ticket and you gotta go stay in a halfway house and you really have a don't have a good means to support yourself, I'm not excusing crime, but I can understand how somebody would fall back into the cycle. What I find amazing with Tim and the Sweetie Pie situation is, and my wife and I have talked about this a bunch, he got out and he had like a whole business empire that he fell into. And, and most people, even day-to-day -day people don't have that. You got to start from the ground up, especially black people, you know. So for Tim to come out and just basically ruin that and really run that business into the ground and then to the point where you got to go to that methodology to get money, I just, I just, I have no words. So anyway, I'm off on a tangent. That's not a reflection of the great city of St. Louis, Joy. I've been there a few times. Thank you so much, Joy, uh, Joy W. out of St. Louis. Uh, God says... Uh, and a bougie. Oh, that's old school. I hadn't seen a bougie in a while and uh, a couple of Lux. So thank you so much, Joy. Hope you enjoy those four shirts. The next one, this is a large order box, three hoodies. Robin M, your first order. Thank you so much, Robin. Very large first order um, out of Hercules, California. Uh, three of the uh, recipe kind of, you know, hoodies. So thank you so much, Robin M out of Hercules, California. The next one is Tiffany L out of Denver, Colorado. Tiffany, this looks like it is your first order. Thank you so much, Tiffany L out of Denver. It looks like you ordered um, a Versus hoodie or two of the Versus hoodie, hoodies. So if you haven't seen those, check out the Versus holiday themed hoodies. Um, Christmas is around the corner, guys. You guys are gonna be wanting to do Christmas parties on your Zoom. You're gonna be Zooming with your family. These are really cool hoodies. They have all the classic Christmas songs listed out on them. You're gonna be going to Christmas parties. So something unique from a Christmas perspective is not the typical Christmas sweater, Christmas look. Very culturally relevant. And uh, I will see you guys on the next Pink Package Show.